Hello guys, uh, today I want to show in this video how many times you can accelerate with uh, maximum uh, current uh, on the Vector Typhoon before you will reach uh, overheating of uh, motor, controller or battery. Uh, I know that it's going to be a motor, the first component that will overheat if you will uh, do this experiment. But today we will find out how many times can you accelerate from a complete stop to maximum speed on the maximum power before you reach critical temperature. And the critical temperature I mean 150 degrees Celsius. This bike is now uh, has an ambient temperature which is about 20 degrees. Um, I will include the screenshot from the uh, controller monitoring system it shows about 26 degree but it's not 100% accurate and also I uh, put the temperature sticker on the motor that will show the uh, temperature on the side panel of the motor so it's not the um, hottest part of the motor the hottest of course the coil um, copper coil inside the motor but uh, for start of the test they are the same temperature the coil and the uh, side cover of the motor of course so uh, as i said uh, we will start uh, we will do the acceleration and also we will do uh, regenerative braking so the cycles will be from dead stop we give a full power we accelerate to about uh, 60 kilometers per hour which is top speed of this 6T uh, model bike and then with the help of regenerative braking we brake down till, uh, till almost uh, stop turn around again full acceleration regenerative braking stop and so on and so on so I will count how many times we can do it until we reach the overheating and uh, I will uh, do each I don't know maybe there is no point to do every uh, run but maybe every two run or something like this i will make a screenshot so you can see how fast the temperature rise on a motor or winding so then we maybe can analyze it and have some conclusions so that's it uh, i will start now and uh, will update you with one more video at the end of the test Hello again, I managed to do a 49 uh, rounds so from completely stop to acceleration to the maximum speed on maximum power then maybe coasting 30-40 meters and then regenerative braking uh, I did all 48 uh, times with uh, just regenerative braking and I touched the motor, uh, the rotor's temper uh, temperature with a hand after 48 rounds. Of course, it was like cold, the ambient temperature, because uh, a mechanical braking was not happening. And on the 49, uh, 49th time, uh, during acceleration, everything was fine, but during uh, regenerative braking, the motor reached 100. Uh, I believe it's 140 degree. I, I have set in parameters. I will check uh, what is the temperature limit. Uh, 
it's reached 140 uh, degree uh, the motor windings and the regenerative braking uh, stopped so this last round i stopped with the brakes and they already uh, not hot but warm the front is not so much uh, but this just shows that how critical is regenerative braking for heavy electric bikes that can go really fast imagine if i braked only once and the brakes were already super hot if i would brake all 50 times with uh, mechanical brakes it would be uh, i don't know maybe overheating because it's like intensive braking acceleration braking acceleration it's definitely uh good to have a regenerative braking instead of just mechanical uh, mechanical are good but if you ride from a big slope it's better to use regenerative braking uh, so yeah we we got the result 49 times and there's a controller cut off uh, motor on the 49th time during uh, regenerative braking so I managed to did the acceleration the pull but when I was regenerating it stopped me uh, I don't know how much would I be able to do if I would uh, not use regenerative braking uh, probably more maybe 60 maybe 65 we'll see but uh, yeah uh, with a full regen uh, to stop and acceleration I managed to do a 49 time yeah thank you for watching I will include of course in the video uh, the screenshots of the uh, controller setup and the pictures that I did on the uh, on the motor um, I'm not sure if you will be able to see it here no, it's right on this side now but yeah, uh, about the side covers, the temperature is hot, but I mean, no, I cannot, I cannot keep my hand too too long, and it's I stayed already like three, four, four minutes for sure, and it's like hot to to touch. I'm I cannot hold my hand too long. So yeah, guys, you see, you can even understand the temperature of your motor if you touch it with your hand and if you see it's too hot to to keep your hand on that means you probably better to stop and give the the motor time to cool down thank you for watching i hope it was interesting if you have any questions about the bikes leave them in the comments and i also want to mention that this was a 60 uh model bike if you will have a 5T, 4T or 3T with the same controller parameters, you probably would get less overheating because the cross section of the copper, copper wires in the motor will be bigger, but then you would not get that uh, fast acceleration with the same controller parameter. So um, if you will have not 6T like this, but 5T or 4T, perhaps you will be able to make uh, 10 15 percent more maybe 60 maybe 70 times acceleration with regenerative braking but again like this exact bike with me i wait about 72 75 i managed to do 49 from ambient temperature to 100 uh, degrees celsius on a sensor in the motor Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.